Hello friends, this is Mr. Zach, also known as Spring Salamander. Today, I'm sharing my sit spot with you. You might have heard the phrase sit spot before. A sit spot is both a place that you go and a thing that you do. My sit spot is here in the forest near my home. When I go to my sit spot, I spend time sitting quietly with a quiet voice in observing nature around me. When you're at your sit spot, use all of your senses to notice new things. You might hear birds singing. You might see changes like snow on the ground or new puddles forming after a rain. You may smell wildflowers as they're, as they're flowering. You may put your hands down and feel the earth. Maybe it's cool. You may even taste something, sticking your tongue out and catching a drop of rain. When you go to your sit spot, spend some time sitting quietly and observing nature. You may be at your sit spot for two minutes, five minutes, maybe even 10 or 15 minutes. Doing a sit spot is sort of like learning how to play an instrument. The more you practice, the easier it will be and the better it will feel. I try and visit my sit spot at least a couple times a week and sit for at least 10 minutes at a time. After you're done sitting for a while, you may want to take some notes in your nature journal. You can write about what you observed or even draw some sketches. Your sit spot should be a place where you can observe things in nature. It might be like this, some woods near your house. It can be in your backyard. It might even be on your back porch. When you're choosing your sit spot, make sure you have an adult with you. They can help you find a space that's safe. Anytime you go to your sit spot, an adult should be with you. They don't have to be right next to you, but they should be able to see where you are and know what you're doing. I hope you enjoy spending time at your sit spot. I'll see you all soon.